We're here at Outback RV of Texas in Denton, Texas, and we're going to take a look at the new Conqueror trailers and the new OBI. It's going to be pretty amazing. Let's go check hey it out. Hey everybody, Real Fester here. We're here at Outback RV of Texas, and they have got the OBI Dweller. This is the 2022 model, and it is a very, very cool as far as if you want to cross between a regular RV and an off-road RV, they have done a great job of putting one of these together. So I wanna check these out. These are gonna be cool. Okay, now we're in the showroom. We're looking at this OBI Dweller. This is 13 feet. So it's a 13 feet uh, when it's closed all up. Now it does have a slide out on the back. So you could tell when we were outside doing the intro this part was slid in and it's real easy to do. Has a couple latches up here, slides in, the doors fold in and then the back goes down. So it's real easy to, to get that to our, that is a sleeping area. Um, so that creates a lot of space uh, where you actually have a small compact camper and you open it up making it. So overlanders aren't really used to that. So it's a really nice addition. Take a look at the kitchen. And we're all set up. That took seconds. So they did a great job. A lot of things, a lot of attention to detail that people don't think about. If this was on a single slide, you wouldn't have all this stability down here for when you put your pots and pans. If you're like me, you like to cook with cast iron and all my stuff's heavy. So this down here, great stability. I can push down on that. It don't go down at all. So you've got it on a double heavy duty slide, lockable. They did a great job of making this where you only have to push down one bar instead of having to worry about doing two. Great job of that. So I really like the way that this kitchen is set up. Goes in and out of the way, real easy. Real high quality Dometic stuff. And you got a great area to cook. Plus you're covered by the awning if you want to cook outdoors. You got your water hookups here. You've got another place here, so another table, storage, pantry area. Inside the pantry area, you have bottle opener. You also have uh, USB ports right there and this can be locked while going down the road so it's really nice. Moving up towards the front, this is the front area. Push latches. And you've got Snowmaster doors on. This looks like a 70 or 80 liter fridge. Big fridge. So you've got huge fridge space. Nice storage. Off-road suspension, uh, completely independent, heavy-duty off-road suspension. Heavy frame, this is not your typical RV frame. So uh, you've got trailer brakes, you've got a locking brake, and you've got a heavy-duty frame with heavy-duty suspension. So you can take this thing anywhere. I really like how, you know, the top is, um, I have to ask what this material is, but the bottom all the way from front to back is this corrugated aluminum so you've got you've got not your typical again it doesn't have the um, RV fenders it's got heavy duty metal fenders heavy duty metal all across the bottom so you've got um, vent there place for 20 pound bottle propane here and then up here on the front extra storage and then another 20 pound bottle all across the front. Now you see this has neck hitch from Australia. So you can see frame leveler, 360 degree hitch, plus the heavy duty jack over there. This has also got the guards on it on the front. So anytime that you're going down dirt roads or anything like that, you're throwing up gravel, you're not going to damage your camper. It's got the guards all the way across the front. This is heavy duty metal all the way across the front grab handles and also 
exterior speakers. So if you want to have a tailgate or something like that, you're outside cooking, want to listen to the radio, you got it. The awning that's on this side is electric. So there's a button right here. All you have to do is push and it goes out eight feet. Push it in, it goes in. We've also got um, awning walls that are able to come down and enclose this area. So pretty good outside. Let's take a look at the other side. So here on the driver's side, on this side, pop this open, huge storage area. So you got a huge storage area with light, interior light. You also got a charger here, and this is your walls for your awning. So you got a big storage area here. Open this up. More light on the inside. Huge storage drawers. Great, great storage area. So they're really good at maximizing all of the space, making sure that it's usable for all of the things that you want to do with it. Portable toilet, get that out from in there. Here's your shower, your outdoor shower. And you know what? I think I bet it comes with a shower because you slide it in right there. I bet it comes with a shower, shower stall. So that may be what that is uh, that's in there. So I bet that's what that is. Fresh water connection, city water connection. So if you go to the campground, you're able to get that. And then you've got regular hookups for when you're out in the RV park. This has the heavy duty stabilizer bars that you can use with a uh, hammer drill. So very heavy duty, love it. I'm gonna hit these lights. We're gonna go take a look at the inside. Now, one of the things that is really super cool, I love the lit up handle, grab handle to get inside the door. So always thinking about your safety and it's the little things that matter. Now, check this out. See the steps? That's crazy. Let's go in. Take a look. Now, once you're inside, you can see that you've got plenty of room. You got plenty of light. So you've got the uh, interior lights up here, smoke detector. You've got ventilation, which you can close so you can open that up. And it's also got really bright lights here. So you've got plenty of light. You've got really good windows. So you've got, you can open these up, slide these up, have access to the elements or you can close them, lock them in. USB right there, the table flips around so you can sit here, have plenty of room to sit at the table. You've got storage here. And that is on both sides. You've also got more USB plugs and 12 volt plugs back here in the back. Another window that you can open, window in the back that you can open, and on this side, same on this side. You have a TV, it's uh, Velcro down right now for travel, but you have a TV right here. All these lockable drawers. So when you push them in, they're locked so they won't come open going down the road. Little closet to hang your stuff up with a hanging bar. That's for your air conditioner. More vents in the bottom for your air conditioner. Now this is one of the things that really impressed me here. Uh, you can see that you've got switches for the air conditioner and the inverter. You've got a Renogy system. And when you open this up, a massive Renogy system with heat and air is underneath the bed. three batteries you can definitely go off grid with this pretty easy and run your air conditioner with no problem
and it slides this way. Oh, oh, brother. Bed falls over, you've got a regular mattress. So you've got a really thick, very comfortable memory foam mattress. You've got reading lights that you can put anywhere. Those turn on and off up there. And the vents are blowing right on you. You've got two 110 outlets over here, plus more USB ports. You've also got at the top, a place to get ventilation outside or you can close it up. This locks into place and you just pull that down and the roof comes down. You've got speakers in the roof. So when you're playing your radio, you got plenty. If you remove the table, you can get up underneath the seat. You can get to your water system and more storage. So you've got more storage up underneath. Looking toward the front of the OB camper, you've got an area here. Locking door. Open this up. Sink, toilet, and really nice shower. So you've got everything that you need right here, all in one little area. So going off road has crossed with the Hilton when it comes to the OB camera. Up here, more lockable stuff to put your soap, all of your necessities. It does have, it, the toilet is flushable, so you do have gray water. You're able to do that. And once again, the door locks. More storage here. So that comes together. You can close that off, make it look real nice. Another window up here that's lockable. You can open that up, push that out. Something like that. Oh, you gotta open up the sides too. So it's got triple locked windows. Triple locked windows. I like that. Cool. Like that. You also have screen. More storage here. And then the front locks up here. And you can also open these up to screens as well. More storage here with the lockable open storage, more storage. And then you have your front tank, rear tank and then your gray tank. So it tells you how much water you have in both. So you've got two tanks that holds up to 80 gallons of water. 80 gallons of water. So you got two 40 gallon tanks and then it shows you gray, gray tank where your gray tank is. A monitor for your batteries and then power fridge, socket light and pump. So all that is on one. You have your stuff, um, breakers here and then your stereo. Really nice, very well made. A cross between a regular camper and an off-road camper. I think they've been nailed.
there you have the OBI Dweller 13, a true cross between a regular camper and an off-road camper. They've really done a great job of hitting both worlds. So if you want to check them out, right around in the $60,000 price range here at Outback RV Texas in Denton, Texas, outbackrvtx.com.